Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to talk about the latest Sandworm APT group attack marked as UAC0082 by Ukrainian CERT, which is targeting the power control systems, also as known as a second power outage attack in human history launched by the Russian government-affiliated state actor. The research is shared by the CERT UA. The attack is associated with the Sandworm APT group and also additional strains on the malware such as Indestroyer 2, which, as you know, is being used exactly to target critical infrastructure and power plants based on the research from ESAT. So what really happened, the high-level summary, I'm showing right now the cert -UA report, but we will go through the cert -UA, through MITRE attack, virus total data, IOC matching, and also we will go through the uh, yeah, SOC Prime platform to do the IOC matching and Sigma-based TTP searches. So what really happened is that uh, the Sandworm group tried to attack Ukrainian power outage system. First, one, the industrial malware is used to actually attack high voltage electrical substations. And it was compiled specifically for every substation and the date of compilation file according to the researchers March 23rd, 2022. Number two, it also aimed to attack the normal Windows machines, which are used as part of the network to operate power plants. And there was a specific destructive malware aimed at Windows OS. It also attacked active network equipment and also it attacked Linux based server systems. So essentially it's a multi-stage attack, which is very common for Sandworm that was aimed to destabilize entire infrastructure for operating a power plant. Now let's try to do some technical analysis. So first we will look at the Mitre attack navigation layer. We are sharing the paste bin link to the layers that were generated for this attack. And now we see the layers. So from the high level view, we do not have full access to the incident information. So there's no initial access. We operate with TLP wide information. We don't yet have full information on our hands. We can see that the research starts with the execution. Uh, let me make this smaller actually. So we have everything from execution to impact. And now let's deep dive and analyze a little bit more. So for this, let's zoom in. And we start with the execution. So command and scripting interpreter, you can see both PowerShell and Linux shell. Uh, you can see that cron jobs and schedule tasks were used for the three stages of execution, persistence, and privilege escalation, three tactics. After that, you can see that we had domain policy modification. So per third report, there was a GPO manipulation. Uh, other things of note is, is LSAS, you know, very common, again, used by Sandworm before, used by many actors these days. If you look further, we have actually network shares, right? Not petty attacks, use network shares. And again, network shares is a very common way to, uh, to jump from one target to another, as well as store data. So, and since that is, we're still verifying in the reports so of protocol tunneling, there is a mention of the SSH protocol being used for tunneling. Uh, it is mentioned in reports that it is for horizontal, so for lateral movement, but we do not see that impact that impact is used for lateral movement. It's rather, we assume, SSH tunnel is used for C2 to control impact, right? Uh, and we have a disk wipe at the end, so again, one of their signature parts of the sideboard group. So let's try to work with it further. So there is a sample shared on virus total, you know, at UTC 1026 today, and as you can see, it's attributed to Sandworm by whoever uploaded it. And that's information we have publicly. We see that detection is done by some vendors already. But now let's dive, how can you verify if you're compromised or not? So the first thing I will do is IOC matching because there's not that many IOCs. The fastest way to do it, there's a very convenient feature here, is to just go ahead and copy and paste the information you can use Encore CTI. Encore CTI is a free tool. Everybody who uses has account on Socrime can use it. If you paste it here, you see all the information matched here. Three domains. There are no domains here, so sometimes you get a false positive with CTI tooling where you know it looks like a domain, like .pay, but it's it's actually a file. So I would exclude domains in here and hashes are automatically recognized. I'll generate the query for Azure Sentinel. And while it's generated, we use Sigma language to generate the queries from Quarter CTI, just like from Quarter. So it's not only one platform. You can actually do IOC matching across all the common themes 
and EDRs uh, that exist, right? So I'll probably need to redo. Okay, that was fast enough. So we do support, as you can see, we have Microsoft Azure Sentinel query. You can actually customize the data schema mapping for your environment, which is a very important step. Aside of Azure Sentinel, we support Humio, Elastic, Splunk, Sumo Logic, Sentinel One, ArcSight, Carbon Black, Greylog, Lockpoint, Defender, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Curator, RSA Net Witness, Qualys, Securonix, Fire Eye, Helix, CrowdStrike, Chronicle Security, and AWS Open Search. So pretty much whatever you have, you should verify that you don't have access to those IP addresses. And by the way, these IPs were first flagged in threat intelligence sources as far back as November last year. So I would recommend going as far back as beginning of the November. So there are some false positives. So it's unclear yet if those IPs were part of APT C2 infrastructure directly back in November. But again, TLPY data, we're waiting for TLP Amber. We'll know more very soon. If we click on the search, in this case, you can verify. So just a quick walkthrough, you can verify the query before you do search. Please do that. We have actually an environment here, which should work. And I'll just see if we have anything in the environment on the attack. Hopefully we don't, and hopefully you do not have anything, but we should verify. So the way this works, it's, it redirects us through a URL and pays the query into Azure Sentinel. No hits. You can exchange the search, extend the search and run it again and so on and so forth. So this is how you get IOC matching done, and this is what we can get from the article. I urge you to do your own analysis. As far as MITRE attack navigation goes, Navigator, sorry for that, uh, we are going to use Navigator to look for the techniques which are associated with the attack. As you remember, uh, there are some techniques which I mentioned are confirmed. So deep blue is confirmed based of report yellow and light blue is not exactly confirmed but should be checked the way to do it we have created a tag in sock prime which i'm sharing as part of this tweet uac0082 and it will return 11 sigma rules and any more sigma rules which are published will come here right so as you can see we have updated all the rules based of that today based of today when the attack was published some of the rules are brand new but some of the rules existed since 2019 so what i mean by this is that this is why we create detection as code because no matter how sophisticated and how devilishly motivated the attacker is the chance that we'll use a new ttp at every single stage of attack is next to none zero day exploit does not allow to get all the tactical objectives it's just initial access it can be privilege escalation and a few other techniques but it's not entire attack, right? So we need to hunt for all the TTPs. And the ability to do that existed since 2019. As long as you implement automated detection response, you can block such attacks. As long as you do threat hunting, you can proactively find some traces of the compromise on your network. And hopefully many people did that. So for every rule, you can get these rules on our platform. Uh, as Sigma, and for all the supported technologies, same as Ancora CTI, most of the common themes and EDRs are supported. If you want to get access to rules straight away, I want to actually use this time to inform you about uh, a very special subscription we have launched last week. So I'm currently recording this live from Ukraine, away from the live combat zones, but not everybody has a luxury or privilege to work in Ukraine these days. And what we did in SOC Prime, we created the package of rules which you can select by yourself. So 50 rules of your choosing, plus over 500 rules which are aimed on detecting Russian sponsored APTs and cyber criminal attacks. So those don't have borders. As you know from the research from Ukrainian CERT, it's not only Ukraine is being attacked by Russia in cyberspace, it's much more than that. Every country, and we have actually evidence that. European government was attacked right uh, last week. So those detections are very important, at least to have a peace of mind. Based on our new detection as code model, some of them are available for free, right? And based on the research you have, based on the MITRE attack navigator, based on the third article, based on the virus total sample, if you have the in-house skill set, by all means, create the detection, and use that tooling to translate better for free. If you want to get tools right away, if your specialists are busy, 
you can use a subscription. You can buy it through Stripe and 100% of this will be donated to save lives. Sock Prime is a commercial company, we're not a charity company, but Come Back Alive is the biggest non-government organization in Ukraine, which directly helps to save lives. It helps people who fight for freedom, who fight for democracy, who fight for Ukrainian nation to return home alive, to get body equipment, to get maybe some uh, helmets. So non-lethal help to keep people alive and to get them back to safety. So if you are buying Sigma to save lives, you are support, supporting Ukraine's brave uh, soldiers and my countrymen to make the difference and to be alive. Thank you for considering this, for watching this video. Most important, keep your organizations and yourself safe. Use MITRE ATT&CK, follow the 3rd UR research, follow VirusTotal, use Ancora CTI, use Sigma rules. Be safe.